hey, hey. Yep, it's that time again. Sunday night, energy focus for the week. Come on in and join me. Got it streaming over here on Facebook. I just shared it in the Empowered Spirit Circle. We've been having so much fun over there. Spiritual Boot Camp, Intuition Boot Camp. Yeah, it's been awesome. You can still grab the videos. All right, let me come over here and stream it on Instagram. Make sure I'm going live. All right, here we are on Instagram. So let's give it a minute to catch up. Let me know if you're here. Give me some roses. We've been dealing with roses all week. Oh my, I have enjoyed it. We've learned so much. We've been doing so much in the Empowered Spirit Circle. You can still go in and get the videos. They're up until Tuesday. Or better yet, come and join me in the Empowered Spirits, the Intuitive Path. That's what it is. Empowered Spirits, my private mentoring. The Intuitive Path is my brand new 90-day coaching program. All about applying intuition as a decision-making tool. Yes, we start on Wednesday, July 1st. So we've been doing all this work to prepare us to get forward and go and understand our energy. So it does open up. It takes you on a journey through your intuition, through Reiki energy, through working in the Akashic Records. Yes, I'm super excited. You can find the link there. Opens up July 1st. We've been doing lots of work in the Empowered Spirit Circle. So come join us. Check it out. The Intuitive Path. Yes, I have room for you. Come join us. Hey, Kat, how are you? How are you doing? So come on in and join me. I know it's Sunday night. We had such a beautiful day. Who wants to come inside, right? I know. I was out at the lake. I was out at the medicine wheel. We did some cleaning up out there. We did new prayer flags. Everything is so green. Oh my gosh, everything is so green, for sure. Hey, Ash. Hey, Paul. How are you? Hey, Raylene. How are you? Come on in and join me. What a beautiful day. I didn't want to come in either. And I actually dried my hair. I didn't lose my wild woman. I just dried my hair to hurry up and get online. Definitely. So come on in and join me. Let me know you're here. Lots to talk about. We're still in the midst of lots of intense energy. We really are. But what a beautiful day. So much green. Yeah, definitely. Hey, Maris. Yeah. So just take a moment. Listen to the bowls. So we gather in our energy. Take a moment and join in with me. Hey, Raylene, how are you? I'm over here in the Empowered Spirit Circle. I'm on Natural Forces Studio as well and on Instagram. We got it all going, guys. And I noticed I matched my roses. Okay, how cool is that? Not on purpose. <laughs> Spirit loves amusement. We've been talking about that all week in the Empowered Spirit Circle. And I still have some more bonuses. Yeah, we're going to be in there tomorrow, 6 p.m. We're going to do a little bit of removing any kind of self-doubt. Hey, Millie, on your intuition, on trusting that. We're going to work with that. And then even Tuesday, I've added one more. We're going to work with the cards. Why do we even want to work with the cards? So we'll be looking at that kind of energy. All right. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's begin. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live stream for the Empowered Spirit Show. This is where I come on live. We look at cards. We talk about the cosmos, and we align our energy for the week, setting intentions. So welcome, everybody. So much cosmic forces still going on. So much out in the world. All right, we had that eclipse last week, the full moon, the summer solstice. I mean, the new moon, the summer solstice. So all of that light is building. All of that energy is building. We have one more eclipse coming. It's on July. 4th or 5th, depending on where you are, and that is just really helping us all to really open up to this energy, to step into your brilliance, to let go, leave all that other stuff behind, and really find that new path for you. 
All right, I talked about this on the podcast this week. It's like we're not going back. Nothing's the same. Everything is shifting. So why hold on to it? Why hold on to the old patterns, right? We really want to use this opportunity to set your intentions for that new energy for you, that new path. Now, maybe you've still been working on things for the spring, and that's great, all right? And for you guys, Kat, down in Australia, you guys are in your winter. So now is the time for dreaming, really bringing those visions in. But for us here in the United States and this this area here, we're really working on, like, what are those new seeds that you planted? Maybe you didn't get a lot of work done on it, but you really want to manifest because that's what summer's about is manifesting, sitting back, watching things grow. So even though we're in this eclipse energy, that's where those sudden changes can work for you. That's where you really want to just kind of open up and step out into your life, even if it feels uncomfortable. And it probably will feel uncomfortable because it's new, and that's okay. All right, and in the podcast this week, I even did a meditation where we really kind of talked about one step at a time. And that's really important too, but when you take that step, bring that power of intention, bring your intuitive abilities with you on each step you take. You don't have to move fast. You really don't. You can take it one step at a time. You can really do that as well. I'm going to make sure we're over here. Let me know if you're in the Empowered Spirit Circle. All right, because it went straight to, it went straight, there we go. Okay, got everything going. So you really want to take those steps with your energy force field, really strong, really powerful. Step on that next step. Feel the alignment of your energy. You've been working on this all week, really opening up so that you can build what you want to build. You can grow what you want to grow, and it will feel uncomfortable. That is okay. The tendency is when it feels uncomfortable, we want to pull ourselves back. We want to go back into the other path because it seems easier. It seems better. But in the long run, it's not. It's just not. All of these steps we're building now, all of these pathways as we open up to this season is really geared to help you find those new paths. All right? Find those new paths for you. So this moon, they call this full moon many things, buck, which actually is funny because we drew the buck in one of the cards today. Also, it's called the Thunder Moon. I kind of like the Thunder Moon, those sudden changes. It's full. The eclipse is coming in. We're finishing up this cycle. So we have all of this energy coming forward. We also are still in the retrograde, right? You've got that Mercury retrograde in Cancer. You've got all that Cancerian energy still affecting us. All right, one of the things that did shift this week was the energy of Venus, all right? So Venus has been, we've talked about that retrograde. Now Venus has gone back to being in its direct motion, which means Maybe you're noticing some of your relationship stuff is moving out. Maybe you're noticing that a little bit. So the Venus star will be opening up before the sun. All right, so that's a way to really open up again to who you are and use that as your guidance. Your beauty, yourself, your love, all of those things is what Venus helps us to work with. And so it did come in and stir up some stuff with relationships. So maybe you've noticed a difference. Maybe you've let go of something. Maybe you've mended something. So all of that energy is going to start to move forward for you. Neptune went retrograde. It joined all those other retrograde planets, all right? And so that energy, that energy is taking us deep within. It's taking taking us into our deep spiritual work. It's taking us into that part that needs to be reviewed, re-looked at, and then you can let go of what no longer serves. It's like cutting the cords, letting it go. And we really don't even want to hang on to that. We really don't even want to talk about it Because when we talk about it, the universe hears us. So we really want to just really kind of find those ways to talk about stepping into your brilliance, to talk about stepping up your vibration. So if you can imagine those steps, instead of like this, step up, step up, step up. And you want to hold that higher vibration. We'll talk about that a little bit when we set our intentions tonight. So that is really, really important. Hey, Summer, how are you? How's it going? Hey, Leah, how are you too? Leah, I got to get your address. So we do have that energy coming forward. We have the 4th of July. What is the 4th of July? The birth of our country. Who is, gosh, our country is in such (sighs) interesting shape. All right, need I say more? All right, so we'll see what's going to happen with that. We'll see if anything out of the ordinary is going to happen as we move into this weekend of celebrating independence. I know the the fireworks are going to be crazy. We already know that. They've already been going on because people don't have the concerts or the the music or the festivals to go to. So, yeah, those fireworks are going to be pretty loud this year. So careful, 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 careful. So we'll see what energy is going to come out of that as we open up into this weekend. 
all right as we open up into that full moon it's going to be really intense it's going to be really feeling you it is in capricorn though so that actually comes around to help ground your energy hey mayor how are you it helps to ground Capricorn energy is going to help us to ground. And I will say too that there is some there is some lucky aspects to what's going on right now. There really is. There's some energy that can help you with that Jupiter and that Pluto energy. So that's why we really want to like continue to set your intentions as you move through the rest of this week. The moon is still building. All right, and work with the energy that's growing for you. Work with that new forward motion. Perhaps you started some of it in March, all right, April, May. And so find what works. Weed out the rest, all right? We're up at the medicine wheel today, just cleaning away the weeds. Again, it was just so beautiful, moving rocks around, all right? And that's what we do. We really want to just kind of open up to that new energy, find a way to really feel that new path for you coming in, and know that there is some luck involved in this energy that's coming forward with the eclipse. So again, when you come into that higher vibration, the universe is going to hear you with that, and it's going to help propel you forward. And with eclipses, as we've been talking about, quick changes can come. All right, that energy of the moon and the sun, it's blocking out. And all of a sudden, that energy that peaks around, that can help. That can help uncover stuff about yourself, right, that you didn't know about or you didn't want to bring forward. Got lots of hearts on that one. Definitely. So we really want to do that. Now, some of the other energy that may be coming forward, you may notice this week, is some of the opposing forces. Work, play. All right, some of those kind of things, what you want versus what you must do, all right, what you can create, the internal and the external. So these are kind of things that we have that eclipse that you may feel a little bit of that tug of war, and it might actually allow you to feel like some of that conflict for you. So how you choose to do it, deal with it is really important. And of course, you're going to know what I say, ground your energy, deep breath, spend some time in meditation. Really, every single astrologer I've been listening to, every single astrologer. All right, Mandy Ray was on the other night. Check her out. She actually has a training tomorrow. You probably could still get into it if you're interested in it. But she was talking about, too, she was in tears because she was talking about how everything is pointing to a deep spiritual knowledge coming forward. All right, everybody I've been listening to saying the same thing. Everybody is saying the same thing about that deep spiritual knowledge. Give me a thumbs up. Come on, you got to say, in action. All right, so... These are the kind of things that can happen as we move through. Sudden changes, sudden differences. This is what we need to really all be grounded in our energy. All right, Marissa gave me a little thumbs up for that one. Grounded in our energy. Be strong in who you are. Know your spirit. Know your spirit. And the only way you're going to get to do that, come in to yourself. Spend some time in meditation. Spend some time out in nature. Earthing. We were doing this last week. Earthing, earthing, earthing. Roll with the punches. That's right. That's what we have to do. Thanks, Leah. Roll with the punches. I had a feeling it was going to not save the battery there. There we go. But this is really the time to, we've said this over and over, and it doesn't shift right now. Step into your brilliance. Connect with your spirit. Find your purpose. Nothing is the same, so why keep holding on to stuff that isn't working? All right, why do that? Try something new. All right, instead of holding on to those old habits, start new ones. Start new ones. Connect with that genius. What inspires you? What makes you feel good? Notice the vibration so that you can lift up that energy. All right, we've been talking about this all week in our boot camp. We've been talking about the empathic energies. Everybody's learning so much, right, about all the many different kind of empath energy that you can work with. So as we move to that full moon, now this is where empaths have to be careful. We move to the full moon. The energy body just starts collecting everybody's energy because it's crazy out there in a full moon. All right, and this one in particular with the eclipse. So if you're that empath energy, make sure check in what is your energy and what is not your energy and release it out all right we did the tools over the week during the boot camp make sure you use these tools because this is when we always have to check in on how we're feeling really really important all right it's important that you allow yourself to understand your energy this is what i call mastering your energy so that you can take control of your life and live the affluent life you choose instead of being at the mercy of everybody else's well they said they said they said they said what do you say what do you feel what do you think what do you know what do you hear what do you taste this is all the energy that we're coming through as we open up to the fullness of the moon this week 
We start out with a little bit of that Scorpio energy of the moon. I think tomorrow, Tuesday. Shout out to Paul. His birthday's tomorrow. We start out with some of that Scorpio energy. So Scorpio, we know, can have a little bit of that fire, a little bit of that sting. Hello, I have Scorpio rising. And then we'll move into the Sagittarius, which is that explore, which is going to help you explore the dimensions of your life. All right. And then we move into Capricorn ground. Very important we ground during this full moon energy. Very important. All right. We really want to raise our vibration, clear out the old energies, open up to that genius that you are, that brilliance with new ideas. Don't think that you have to get there really quickly. All right. It's not a finish line right now. We're really, because we got a lot of energy to move through. Now, the other thing to talk about before we get into our meditation is the Mars energy. Mars is doing a little bit of dance in the cosmos, all right? It's finishing up at the very end of Pisces. So it's finishing up. So anything you can finish up to, finish up. And then it's going to move into Aries. And Mars is our warrior energy, and Aries is its home sign. So that Mars energy is going to start creating Maybe a little bit more power within yourself. Of course, it depends on where your charts are, right? Definitely. But it's going to create a little bit of that warrior energy, that moving forward. And we might see some of that breaking out more in our own country and around the world, too, with some of that tension moving forward. So definitely knowing your own charts is really important. Again, Mandy Ray, give you a shout out. Mandy, she's doing a workshop tomorrow and reading your charts. You can find her online. I'm actually interviewing tomorrow, so the podcast will be out next week, Ananda Shri. Vedic Astrology, Carrie Fields. I'm really excited because Vedic Astrology is a little different. It's still on the line. It's a little older system. So I'm excited about that podcast as well. All right. So just to sum up here, as you start to move through the week, notice your energy. Notice that we're going to have some of that Scorpio fire energy as you start your week. So careful. Mercury is still in retrograde. Watch your words. Watch your communication. And then as you start to prepare for the holiday weekend, guard your energy in past. You know it's going to be intense out there. Notice what you're doing and then open up. Let go of the old patterns. Open up to your brilliance. Step forward. Even if it's just one step, step up the ladder. All right? Not down and not even level. Step up the ladder with all the energy that you can manifest for yourself. Know your energy. All right? All right. So let's take all of that in. Take a nice deep inhale. Let's light some sage. And wherever you are, if you can, close your eyes. Just take a nice deep inhale in. And exhale, sending that breath all the way down deep into the earth. This is how we ground. Inhale, bringing that breath all the way up the body. And exhale, sending it all the way back down deep into the earth. Calling in your energy, calling in your higher self. Just pulling your energy in. We did this in the boot camp. Pull it in. And just feel, feel the spiritual body coming right on top of the physical body. Shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet. Starting to feel your energy pulling in from the week, pulling in from the weekend. Inhaling and exhaling. As we take this time to honor where we are right here in the summer season. In the medicine wheel, we find ourselves in the direction of the south for where we are. For those of you on the other side of the country, of the world, cat for you guys, you're in the winter. And we just take this time to honor, honor all your many blessings using gratitude, honor where you are, allowing your energy to grow as we open up to the light of the moon of this full moon coming in. As we call in, all of the directions for guidance and protection this week to the south, the west, the north, and the east. Above us, below us, right into the very center, pulling into your spirit. And just really working with the spirit, ask, what do I want to set my intention for this week? And then allow the energy to come right here in that third eye. And as you see it coming from the back through the third eye, let it manifest, let it open up and begin to see those intentions all around you. And as those intentions come in, notice how you feel. This is really important. Notice those elevated emotions. The love, the peace, the prosperity, the joy, whatever it is for you, let those elevated emotions lift. 
and then send them out through the auric field. Send them out. And just hold this vibration. We want to return to this as often as you can. Notice how it feels, how it looks, what you hear, what you know, what you smell, what you touch, all of that energy. So I send a little Reiki out, Han Chin Se Shun In, Han Chin Se Shun In, Han Chin Se Shun In, sending Reiki out to you, to your intentions, to magnify this energy field for you. Notice, feel, vibrate with this high energy, this elevated emotions for all these intentions coming in. So you can see the signs, find the signs, pick them up, follow them one by one. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Release the attachment, but know this feeling. You can come back to it at any time, each and every day. Take another deep inhale, sealing in the energy, exhaling, releasing down, coming back. Imagine that crystal ball right above your head. We've been doing this in the group. See your name in red as we separate the energies. And then just release all of this beautiful vibration through your auric field, grounding you as you bring the awareness back. Just slowly blink in the eyes. Coming back. Refocusing the energy. All right. So I'm working with learning the Good Tarot deck. I love this deck. It's very positive. It's one of Colette Baron reads decks. It's really beautiful. I felt I needed to change. So I'm really excited about that. So the card for all of us, all right, this is our focus card, is the Ace of Pentacles. Look at that buck energy. Look at that. Perfect alignment with the full moon coming in. Really perfect. So this is New Beginnings. This is the pentacles, which is our work, our money, our earth energy. I love it. It's like being really grounded in that energy that's perfect for this full moon coming up in Capricorn. Really nice. You see the antlers here. You see the buck standing there owning their energy. So own your energy. Know that you're grounded in who you are and what you are doing. This builds your confidence. Great. Brand new beginnings. Ace as we come into this energy. Really beautiful energy for that. Now, if you drew card one, two, or three, this is one of the ways that you can help you to get to this point and the influence for you. So the first card is the High Priestess. I feel like we drew this last week. So the High Priestess is somebody that knows her psychic energy, that knows her abilities, that opens up to the mystery schools. This will help you in all the manifesting that you can do. This is all that energy that we were working with all week long. See how she has all these beautiful goddess symbols and all of this. Your face is painted there. She knows her stuff right in the very center. Know your energy. Be a master to your energy. And if you don't, get some help. Come join us in the intuitive path. Really work on this, and this is going to help you move through everything you're going to see from now into the year on. All right? Really important. The second card is another pentacle, and this is the four of earth. And I really love this because it really shows that things are working. Four is our balance number. Now, this always reminds us not to hold on too tight. Keep letting energy move. But it's all that you're doing is working in a really, really good way. All right, it's building energy. It gives you that stability, that grounded as you do this. And so know that you can ground right now. Even though it feels like, oh my gosh, all this emotional energy, all this fire energy, you can ground your energy. Just don't hold on too tight. Sometimes we have everything working. We're like holding, holding, holding. Keep it flowing. Keep it moving. And then the third card, this is kind of an interesting card. This is Temptations. All right, and this is kind of to remind you to check in. Where are you putting your intention? All right, are you kind of focused on the superficial and all those shiny objects? Come back into your spiritual body. All right, sometimes we can. We can go down that little rabbit hole and chase those shiny objects and thinking like, Oh, the treasures and the money is better than anything. No, that's not so. So be sure to check in with your own energy, your own spirit. This is going to help you move forward. Sometimes we can lose sight of things when we're only checking in on those shiny objects and the richnesses of life, all right? 
Energy, energy, energy. Check in with your energy. All right, so just to sum it up, we all have this new energy coming forward. This is perfect for the end of that third eclipse. This is perfect for that Capricorn energy. Stand strong. Own your energy, that buck energy. Know that you can build whatever you need right now, especially when you use the mystery schools, especially when you know your psychic energy and you're tuning into it. Perfect, right? Perfect for all the work we've been doing all week. All right. This is know that you can build what you need. You can ground with the earth. Don't hold on too tight. Things are working. All these things that you've set into motion, right, from the buck energy, it's growing. Look at the difference. Look how much it grew, all right? So if you've got number two, the middle card, keep doing what you're doing, all right? You're on a good path. The third one is this temptation, all right? And just careful that you're not going for all the shiny objects, that you're doing your work and checking in with your own spiritual path. Really important. This can pull you off track, all right? Come back into track. Grow your energy. Be grounded in what you're doing, all right? Take a deep breath. Let all this settle in. Let me know how you feel. Let me check and see what everybody's saying. All right, Ernest wants a card. Hi, Emily. Hi, Kat. Perfect. Love this. All right. Marissa says, happy birthday, Paul. Leah's giving me some fire. Hey, Amy, how are you? All right, roll with the punches. Yeah, that is what I did. All right, so if you'd like a card, let me know. I'll do a few cards here before we finish up. If I can find them. All right. All right, Emily, you asked first. You're going to get the first card here. Here we go. Marissa, you'll get the next. All right, Emily, you got the tower card. All right, so this is about ch structures and things falling down to be rebuilt. And I love the way that Colette draws it in this card. So it doesn't look so much like destruction. But look how she's building that new castle. All right, a really beautiful card. So let the structures fall. Don't hold on to the old ways. Do not hold on to the old ways, all right? Yes, Mare, isn't it a beautiful card? All right, Marissa. Marissa, the king of earth. This is like a beautiful card because this is grounding. You're very grounding. This is also that entrepreneur spirit, that business spirit. You know what you're doing. You have the sense. Trust, all right? Again, earth is our physical world. Earth is our, our pentacles, our money, our work. So you own this woman. You own this energy. You know what you're doing. You have that spirit of working. You know you're smart. Trust your instinct. Good card for you. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, Mare. It is a beautiful deck. Mare, you got the nine of water. All right, so waters is our emotions. All right, the nine is a little bit dreamy there. So don't get too caught up in the emotional energy. This is some of that empath energy we've been talking about. All right, it's good to know your emotions. Looks like there's a huge diamond down there, doesn't it? So it is good. Now, nines are always about almost completion. So there is something going on in the emotional realm that needs to come to finish, especially as we move through that full moon. Careful of your emotions as you move through because the emotional body can collect it. All right, but it is a good thing that Neptune energy, it's going reverse, but it can help you in your dream time, using that dream time. All right, don't let yourself get too caught up in the emotions. Oh, that's a good energy for you to remember about that as well. All right, Melissa. Melissa, you got the six of earth. So this is playing more on that ace of pentacles that we got. All right, really important that we do. Seven of earth, you've got all these pentacles coming forward. So building a new path, working with your energy, really building upon that. Seven is spiritual, all right? So bringing some of that spiritual energy into your work is really, really important right now, okay? All right, Summer. Summer, we'll see you on Tuesday. Summer's the hair font. This is all about spiritual knowledge and the work that you're doing. This is confirmation that all this work that you're doing with me, with learning about your own energy is really important. You're growing, you're learning, everything is there. You are controlling your own energy. Beautiful card, beautiful confirmation for you. I love it, I love it, I love it. Lisa. I'll be back over to you guys on Facebook in one second. All right, Lisa, this is the emperor energy. So this is bringing in some of that Mars energy that's coming forward. The emperor, like, emperor is one that kind of earns his way. He does his work. So keep doing that drawing. Keep getting those paintings out and own it. Look how proud that, look how proud that lion is sitting there. All right, so be strong. Bring some of that masculine energy forward. That's going to be in the selling of your work, right? But keep doing what you're doing. Keep owning your energy. All right, be strong in your empathic nature. Really good card for you too, all right? All right, Marissa got a crown, some diamonds there. Mary, she said thanks. 
All right, I broke Instagram. No, you didn't. It's just my phone broke Instagram. All right, some hearts from Sunny. All right, Summer, I mean. All right, let's see. Back over here. All right, let's see. All right, Millie. Millie wants a card. We got a lot of people over here on Instagram as well. All right, y'all. The Eight of Water. All right, so Millie, this is like a little bit of that emotional energy coming in as forward as well. Sometimes we can get kind of down on ourselves and feel like everything is lost, but it's not. Look at the richness of the treasures there. There's so much more to open up to. Eight is that infinite potential. And the water energy, again, is that cancer energy and that full moon energy that we're going through. So make sure you also, too, work with your empathic nature. Don't take on excess energy right now, all right? Got some thank yous over here. All right, Ashley. Actually, this is a full card. Now, this is not a foolish person, but this is taking that next step, a brand new journey. Yay, woman. Excellent for you. I got your recommendation in. So take that step, and you've already done this. So I feel like this is confirmation. You did what you needed to do. Power to you. Things are working out. The universe is definitely supporting you on this new path. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, Raylene. Raylene, it's another ace, all right? So this is the ace of water. So this is the beginning of the emotional energy. This is all about self-love, really working with that cancer energy, that full moon coming forward. Really nurture yourself, first and foremost. When we can love ourselves, you can open up to so much more energy in the world. Excellent card. Camille, hey, Camille, how are you, my dear? So good to see you Friday night. All right. Messenger of water, Camille. So this is about a message that's going to come forward. Water is the emotional energy, so of the heart. It's also about opening up to different circumstances and not being afraid to, to approach the different circumstances. Things may not look like everybody expects it to look. We know what that means, so you can open up to it and love anybody that you choose. So messages are coming forward for you on that. I love that. That's really great. All right, let me know how that resonates for you. Miss Jackie. All right, Jackie, nine of airs. This looks like you. Look at that. A little more thought, a little more magnification of energy. Been working in the air. The mind, Jackie's our mindset coach, y'all. So this is a beautiful card. Open those wings. Did you get this last week? Open those wings. Attract the thoughts that are lifting you up. Isn't that beautiful, y'all? Beautiful card. Really beautiful. All right? There's still more to come for you. Use that magnetic mindset that you talk about. That is really beautiful, Jackie. Give me a thumbs up for that. All right. Hey, Jeremy, how you been? All right. Beautiful, right? I matched the roses. How perfect is that? They're really Paul's birthday roses, but they kind of wound up on my sacred altar here. All right. Jeremy, messenger of fire. All right. So this card, look at the crown on there. This card is a message for you of your passion and your purpose in life. Go deep within and listen to those messages so that you can bring this out. Perfect time for that full moon, that eclipse that we're coming into. Perfect for you. Beautiful card. Hey, Lanier, we missed you last week. All right. Eight of Fire. Look how pretty this card is. Look at the little panda bear. Look at all the lights of energy. All right. So fire, fires are passion and desire. Eights is that infinite potential. This is really allowing you to bring it all forward and tap into that infinite potential of who you are right now. Bring it forward. Find that new path that you can take all that you have and come forward and tap into that. Co-create with that infinite potential. Passion and desire. Infinite potential. Beautiful words that go together. All right, Millie says, thank you. Ashley says, thank you. What a great card. I've been taking care of myself both physically and most importantly, spiritual. Excellent confirmation. I think I got a nine of something else. All right, no big deal. All right, thank you. It does look like you for sure. Wow, thank you. Camille says yes. Yes, Janice. Yay. Hey, Janice, a card for you. Janice, we got the lover's card. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Summer is a great time for love. Now, this could be love for yourself so that you can magnify that energy out for you and open up your heart to somebody as well. Summer's a great time for love. So that's a beautiful card. What does it mean for you? What would you like to see? All right. What would you like to see coming forward? And this love is around for you as well. Love that. That's a great card for the summer. All right. I think I got everybody. I dropped the phone how many times? <laughs> you got to love it, right? That's what we do. We go with the flow. And that's how life needs to be right now. Go with the flow. Be grounded in your energy. And open up, open up.
to a bigger part of your purpose, your path. Live in that brilliance. Don't be afraid. Let the universe hear the brilliance coming forward for you. All right. Check out the podcast this week. I did an energy focus about summer. I also did a meditation for you as well. Check out the past couple of ones if you haven't been able to. Bring in all that self-love and radiate it out. Yes, that is the message. Enjoy this full moon. Enjoy the long weekend. I'm not sure if I'm going to make the the uh, forecast next week. I'm going to be up in Nashville for a sweat lodge, so I'm not sure if we'll be back in time. Maybe I'll do something on the uh, 4th or something like that. But come on into the Empowered Spirit Circle tomorrow. We still have bonuses going on in the boot camp. We've had a great time. We're going to be doing about releasing doubt and fear about your own intuition. And Tuesday, we have another day as well. The videos only stay up till Tuesday. Come grab it and come check out the Intuitive Path. We do have room for you to come join us. Three months of doing this amazing work with guidance, with practice, putting it into action. All right, everybody, let's take all this amazing fire energy, pull it in, harness it into your very soul. Check in with your spirit as you move through each and every day, live in your brilliance. Thank you guys so much for joining me. To your spirit, namaste. Namaste.